what are the chances that you need documents in your workflows? I would say nearly 100%. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series of your tutorials. In all industry projects where we have used YAWL for the automation of business processes, documents have played an important role. Therefore, it is good practice to couple a business process management system like YAWL with a document management system like Alfresco or Liferay, for instance. I have linked some videos on this topic in the description below. In this tutorial, we will take a close look at the document handling in YAWL. The document handling in YAWL can be used on its own or provide an interface for the coupling with the document management system. You can find the YAWL specification that I use here in the supplementary material linked below. Get your computer if you want to follow along. Here we are with the folder of the supplementary material open here on the left hand side below and we will first take the specification document YAWL and drag it into the YAWL editor. The YAWL engine is running of course. Um, so let's look at the first task upload. So we can see there is one variable in here and this variable is called document and um, it is of the type Y document type, YAWL document type and it has scope output so we will be expected to upload a document here and the next task download uh, is similar it has the same variable uh, but this time with scope input so we will be able to download a document here and finally the last task change it has the same variable again this time with scope input output so we will be able to do both so let's look at what happens if we execute this so I will upload this um, to the YAWL engine and now uh, we go to my admin work list and uh, we can see we have an unoffered work item upload which is the first task here in the workflow and we will offer it to Lorenzo Monaco this is the user the admin user that I'm logged in here with so go to my work list and we see upload is offered so we open this one and now we can see that we have an upload arrow here activated and if we click on it we have the possibility to drop a file here or to upload the file with um, a dialog and um, what I'll do here is I will just take this PDF file here from the supplementary material and drop it here close it and then we have the name of the file here and I complete this task uh, and then the next one is download so I have to refresh here and now I open the download work item and we can see this file name and we have the download arrow here so if I click on download the file is here now and I can just open it by clicking on it and it will be displayed here so I can work on it I can do whatever I want with it and then um, I can complete the work item and the next task is change so I have the work item change here I open this and then I have the upload arrow and the download arrow activated I hope this was helpful try it out yourself and let me know if you have any questions